Man, we've really been knocking out these two-minute videos, three-minute videos lately, haven't we? Anyway, uh, there's an update from BSG um, that just happened about a minute ago. So, yeah, looks like there's a patch coming. A uh, big one. Newsy news. Newsy news. Newsy news. Newsy news. Newsy news. Hey everybody, my name is OnePeg, and this is uh, another Tarkov video. This time, we have uh, an update from BSG about a patch that is coming for tomorrow morning. They said, tomorrow, June 29th at 8 a.m. BST, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard, we are planning to install patch 1212.3. The installation will take approximately five hours, but may be extended if required. The game will not be accessible during this period. So what does that mean? Well... The assumption would normally be if there's going to end up being a wipe patch that they would change the point version to like 0.13. But if it's one thing that BSG has been notorious for, especially in the last few months alone, is being consistent with the way that they do things. From the pre-wipe events that we've seen historically up until this point, which have gone completely differently than what has happened over the last few years, to... The point updates and whatever they've been teasing us right along. Oh, and there's also this image. This is from the podcast that Nikita did most recently. Look at the point version. Just saying. There seems to be a lot of stuff that's been kind of getting in the way. If you think back to a year ago, just as a matter of example, Lighthouse was supposed to be slated to be released at the end of summer, according to Nikita and his hopes. Of which, obviously, when we reported on that, I ended up saying that didn't make sense. I thought it was too soon, and it probably wouldn't happen until winter. I figured it would happen around Christmas, and lo and behold, there we were. With the 12.12 patch, we ended up getting Lighthouse. The expansion for Lighthouse is supposed to include a trader for us to be able to interact with. But all of the lore that we have working up until this point is talking about how we don't have access to Lightkeeper, and he's out of town with his sniper. Which we also haven't really seen anything teasing in terms of that sniper's Riachi and the character model for him, other than some gray box stuff. We've never seen him actually textured in terms of like what his model's supposed to actually look like as a final release. We don't know, which could mean that BSG is trying to keep it a secret. They don't want us to see him just yet. Maybe they wanted it to be a surprise or they want the interactions with the trader to be a surprise. Personally, I feel like if that was something that was ready, they would have teased it for us already. We would have seen it happen, and it's just not there. It's not occurring. The five-hour patch could end up being an intermediate one. We could end up seeing the Lighthouse expansion being available to us, but not any of the other stuff. Remember, when we talked about the Lighthouse being accessible, but the trader not being there and all of these lore letters, the belief was is the island would be open, but I've said for the last few videos now that the island wouldn't be able to be open until they did a patch to update the island. So my guess is that we'll get some things, maybe we'll get the flare gun and a few other bits and bobs, but this will probably end up opening the lighthouse for us so that we can run past the gate, we won't get sniped anymore, and we can explore that new area. I don't know whether or not this is going to come with a wipe or if they're going to patch it again. Two days in a row of patches doesn't make sense to me. It also doesn't make sense for me for them to have had this 99% off event where everyone has just been running like crazy, people are burning their stashes up, if only for them to say, well, you're just going to have to wait a little bit longer and people end up running around with whatever they've got left. I think at this point, the economy has been well screwed up enough to where they really can't turn back from it. So I wouldn't be surprised if the game wipes tomorrow. I also wouldn't be surprised if the Lighthouse expansion is in, but not most of the other like bells and whistles. Maybe the new animation system, but I don't think the new trader is going to be there. My guess would also be that they will wipe us. We will start over, but they're going to end up having like the point thirteen patch to expand upon the game at some point shortly hereafter. Maybe we'll see it in another month or so. I just don't think the way that Nikita has been reacting regarding like all of this pending stuff, that the patch was as ready as he was hoping, and they're now pushing out something intermediate so that we're kind of satiated for the time being. That's the way it feels to me. I will welcome being wrong in all of these instances, but with the way the economy is at the moment, they really kind of do gotta do something about it. Hopefully that makes sense. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's just extra lighthouse room. 
Anyway, guys, obviously, I will have a video for you as soon as I see patch notes in the morning. I'm going to be getting up right and early. Uh, I will probably not be live tomorrow, but I might be. Depends. Well, maybe I'll go live like super early and we'll talk through some things, but I will be off going to see my doctor uh, before the patch goes live. So anyway, guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please give me a follow on Twitter at OnePegMG. Uh, consider a sub in the channel if you would be so kind. And as always, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash OnePeg. Thanks. Peace.